My name is Staff Sergeant Marchbex, Armor Constructor with the Life Fighter School. We're going to go over disassembly and reassembly with Mark 19. Alright, I'm going to be using a 50 cal pairing rod. It's the only thing outside of the weapon system I need to take apart and put it together. First, we're going to remove the pin in the back. Alright, pins out. Until it hits a wall. When it hits this wall, push down on the sear mechanism, continue to pull. It'll click right out. And we're gonna stick it over here out of the way. Alright. Next, open the feed tray just to give us some light on what we're doing. We're gonna take out these two drive arms right here. In the back, while you're supporting them, there is a locking bar. Right here. When you pull this back, everything will fall out. This one will fall free. Set it over here. Try not to let them fall. This one pulls out the back. All right. Place them down. Try not to damage any of the stainless steel shiny parts. You need to stay buff. Next, we're gonna work on feet tray. Close it down and use your palm. Push the drive arm out. All right. Take your drive arm, put it here, we're going to need that later. Next, your feeder paw assembly comes out. Make sure you keep your shiny parts up. Now we're going to take off the feed tray cover. Make sure it's at 90 degrees. Pull your two pins out. If it's not at 90 degrees, you can break the safeties on these pins off. Come out. Next, feed tray will come off. Shiny side up. Next, we have our ground block, O die, and this guy that holds it in place. Alright, we're gonna use this, come in here, and there's a small flat spring. And you push down, place, to release the locking bar. Alright, locking bar will come out. You're releasing this. That's all you're doing. And you put that back. Next, ground block, and push it in. You'll see it comes out here. Line it with the holes, and it'll come right out. Go drive, it'll just fall right out when you push on it. All right, now we're gonna do the charging handles. Charging handles, there's a pin right here. When you pull it out with your fingers, just slide the entire assembly to the back, and it'll fall off. Same on the other side. Pull your pin, push back, and it'll come right out. Alright, next is the sear. The sear, be careful because it can fall apart and it's not easy to put back together. First thing, make sure the weapon is on fire. Hold up on your sear lever and the release pin in the front. Turn it until you hear the click. Once you hear the click, place it on safe. It has to be on safe before you pull it free from the weapon. All right. If not, all these parts inside can fall out. At that point, the weapon system is disassembled and we are going to reassemble the weapon system. We're going to do it in reverse. First, the sear. Place it 90 degrees to the weapon system. It falls into place. Begin to turn it so you know it's in the right spot. Before you put it on fire. Hold up on your sear so it locks in place. All right, we're gonna leave it on fire to help us reassemble the entire weapon system. Flip the receiver back over and we'll put our charging handles back on. All right, for this, there's a hole here, hole here, which align with this and this. Place them in their hole, push in on the front, and just hit the back here. Slide right in place. And you do the same on this side. Alright. Now we're going to go back to the feed tray assembly. Alright. Start with the other guy. Slides right in. Round block. Reverse. Push it through. Slide it over. Alright. Next is that locking bar. This aligns with the hole in the front. And that angle. Align that hole 
Push it through, slide it until you hear the metallic click. Make sure it's locked in place. Take your feet tray, shiny side down. Place on there. Now our feet are covered. Remember, 90 degrees or you can damage these pins. One, two. All right. Peter Paw assembly. Now it back on. And it aligns. The drag arm goes in. There's only one place where it'll actually fit and twist without falling out. All right. Now we're going to take it, align it with that hole. Shoot your thumbs, you can push it in. And it's going to be in there steady. All right. Now, the two drag arms. All right, I like to start with the one that hangs first. Just come in from the back, holding the front, and align it, making sure that locking bar stays unlocked. All right. It also needs to line up up here in the front. All right, this one with your nub up. Keeping the blocking bar out and come into the front. Line it with that hole. Push it up through, push locking bar through. Push down on it, make sure it's not too tall. Alright, now we're gonna put the bolt back in. Alright, first step. Align your bolt with the receiver, start to slide. You're gonna hit a wall. Alright, now you're gonna be able to push farther. Come down to the bottom, push in on your sear. And I'll go to the top here. You're going to hit that wall again, push down on your sear. Middle side. Take your pin, pull here, flies in place. Make sure your pin comes all the way through. Pull your finger. That's my 19.